welcome to Four Restaurant here in Lakeway. We are here to honor Dr. Donna Gunn for her work with the African Promise Village. While on the trip there, she found it very disturbing to see the plight of the people who were living in that part of Africa. And so she formed the African Promise Village in an attempt to turn those lives around. My name is George Mahalchik, I'm the program coordinator for Recognize Good Legends, and a couple of folks I need to, uh, uh, to recognize. First off, we have Ms. Dana Browning. We have uh, Bruce Drake. We have uh, Russ Gunn, board member of the family, and of course, our honorary Donna Gunn. Let me talk a little bit about Recognize Good and what we do, and we'll get into uh, some background on Donna, this. Then we have several presentations that include a $1,000 before donation. The purpose of the recognized good, very simply, is to illuminate the good that we see every day in the world. We have people who, in their daily lives, do extraordinary things. And we are proud, proud to recognize that. We started recognized good uh, a few years ago. As a way for folks to say thanks to uh, family, friends, and acquaintances close by and literally around the world. And if you take a look at uh, this chart, we have Tire X Group, ABC Home and Commercial Services, and the Samaritan Counseling Center joining their forces in the collective energies to build this website and call recognized good. And as we saw the thank yous to them, we noticed that several of the thank yous were of great, great quality. We thought of a way to recognize those folks, and we developed the 2010 Legends Program. This is our 49th ceremony recognizing Legends, and we are pleased to be able to support a number of different activities and organizations. In the past, when we were talking about this before, we have supported the uh, Kalahari People's Fund with our legend Steve Barkley. We have supported Water for Africa with our legend Will Williams. And now we have the African Promise Village. And it's going to be a great day because we will make a $1,000 paid for donation to that organization to support their needs. But it's not going to stop here. It will not stop here. Because throughout the year, we will be in contact with Donna and her social network in an attempt to generate as much interest as possible. Because in January and February of 2016, in the ceremony that's going to be on February 19th at the City Hall, we will have our St. Thanks Austin campaign, where whichever legend from 2015 receives the most thank yous will get another $10,000 paid it forward donation. So, what we need to do is start working on the social circles, the media circles, and all those contacts for uh, Recognize Good. Recognize Good is just one part of the Recognize Good Foundation family of recognitions. We have a couple of others. One is the Ethics in Business and Community Annual Awards paper. Those businesses which exhibit uh, supreme, superior, outstanding ethics in their business dealings will get recognized at this annual awards thing. We also have a program that looks at the uh, people in, in high schools, the high school students it's called Education and Review. And all of those recognize the good things that people are doing. Finally, we have uh, a third we call the White House Award, and the Lake Travis Rotary has picked up that award at the high school for their unselfish civic work in the community. So that's uh, a short recap of Recognize Good. What I'd like to do now is ask Ms. Dave Browning, who is president of the Hamilton Bronx Village and the uh, faculty of the Tex High School, to come forward and tell us a little bit about Donna. Thank you. Water, health, education, opportunity for every one of its inhabitants. However, we know this is not the world we currently live in. 
Instead of staying at and by and allowing inequality to continue, Dr. Donna Gunn decided to do something about it. Five years ago, along with a few other retired educators, she started APB. Since its beginning, APB has succeeded in serving two communities in Tanzania. The first is the Intel Orphanage and School in Arusha. Through Donna's work and fundraising efforts, APB has sponsored 17 orphans of vulnerable children to receive food and boarding for one year. The cost of each year is $1,200. In addition to this life-changing contribution, Donna has also bought goats, chickens, and in September, she will be adding two milk calves to the Intel Orphanage as well. September brings the biggest accomplishment yet. The Promise Village of APB is in the rural Maasai area of Tanzania. Here, on an empty plot of land trustee to APB by village elders, Donna has succeeded in securing a Rotary International grant for a $65,000 water well that will serve 37,000 Maasai people for years to come. The next step after the water well is building a school for the area. APB has partnered with Common Threads to begin the building of this facility. With all of this comes many opportunities to help. The students you see here are part of the new APB Youth Branch, called APB Gap. Each one of these students has decided that they want to get more involved in changing the world, like Donna is doing, and is volunteering their time and talents to grow in APB. Projects that they are working on include a fundraising event at the end of this year, or the end of this month, a goat milk soap economic program, and a sanitation education program that they're going to learn about soon. Whatever the future holds, we are excited and honored to share this endeavor with the incredible Dr. Den. Jody and Wolfgang von Goethe said, whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Thank you, Donna, for your vision and work for our brothers and sisters. Now it's my pleasure to welcome the attorney with Gold Tree Deacon. Yes. Great, thank you. We have a couple of things to check. Right? Yes, um, let me say uh, thank you to all of you for letting me be here today. My name's Bruce Griggs. As most of you know, but maybe not everyone, uh, Dr. Gunn is my mother. So um, it's been my privilege to watch her over the years uh, participate in helping others, and that's what she's best at. Her unique gift has always been education. So she has taught countless thousands of children from kindergarten age up to being a college professor to operating Montessori schools in Alaska, um, all kinds of things that people can only imagine uh, that they would do. She has done most of those. But her special gift for the last five years has been APD. And it's been a great lesson for my kids who are sitting over here to watch their grandmother engage in selfless acts to help others who are in need. And she's done a wonderful job of that. I'm very proud of her. And we want to present some gifts for her here today. Donna, you have a place? Now, Karina and Arcation are not here, so maybe at the gift card to see folks. You can go to see what I think I appreciate it. So I believe the, and this is one for, this is one for Donna. So the first of these is a, a soup mug. And I don't know how well you can see it, but it's adorned with symbols on the side. The first symbol is a star, uh, which is illumination, shining a light on positive activities. The second is a ribbon, which signifies helping hands. The third is the lines of stars of the Pentagon, which represent the message of economic prosperity, employee well-being, professionalism, and entrepreneurship and community citizenship. The fourth is a dove, uh, which is, symbolizes peace. And the final is a heart, which signifies caring. All presented on the Great. Okay, Russ, can you join us up here for your part? Not there. So the next uh, gift is uh, a book of de good deeds, which includes the original recognition of pictures and has pages for additional stories. I don't know how well you can see it, but there it is. Oh, 
The next gift is a floral arrangement of Romilia. And I think I pronounced that right. And it is a living token for remembering today. this afternoon, and especially for Donna for all the good work that you've done. Thank you very much. We'll have an opportunity for photos with everybody up here uh, at the conclusion of this, and if you want to uh, have lunch at four afterwards, I recommend the uh, grilled chicken sandwich. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This concludes our ceremony.